Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're talking about the Asun A1 gimbal and why I think this gimbal blows all the others out of the water. So if you've been watching a bunch of the videos in the last couple months on this channel, you'll realize that I've had a lot of different gimbals sent to me. So a lot of companies are coming out with gimbals now and everyone wants YouTubers to review them because it's a way for them to market their product, get people to try new products that they might not normally try. So this is the Asun A1 gimbal. This is a company I've never really heard of. They reached out to me, they asked me if I wanted to try out their gimbal. This one works with DSLRs, it works with mirrorless. It's a little bit beefier than some of the other gimbals out there. And basically, I've been playing with it for about the last month. And I have to say, I am super impressed with how this gimbal works and the footage that I'm getting from it. So before we go into details about this gimbal, let me just show you some of the footage that I've been getting with it. So all of this footage I've been shooting with the GH5 and I've been shooting with a mix of lenses. I've been trying my wide lenses. That's what I typically use on a gimbal. You put a wide lens on, you get some really cool effects. However, I noticed that this gimbal was especially smooth. So I started playing around and I started putting my 50 on. I've been putting my 85 on. I've been getting some really cool results because when you put a long lens on a gimbal, you get this awesome dynamic footage that you wouldn't normally get if you just use a wide lens. And that's one thing about using like a GoPro with a gimbal is it's always wide. So when you're using your mirrorless or your DSLR and you put it on a gimbal with some longer like primes, you get some really cool footage. You get that shallow look. You get that parallax effect with the background moving really fast. It just gives you something different that you don't normally see when people are playing around with gimbals. It's similar to drones. When you have something like the Inspire and you put the long lens on it, you can get some really awesome footage that a lot of people aren't getting because everyone just has a wide lens on the Phantoms and the Mavics and all that. So this gimbal definitely is smooth. And that's a big key with a gimbal is, is it smooth? So I haven't had a whole lot of micro jitters with it. I haven't had a whole lot of issues with it balancing. Once you get it balanced, once you get it up and running, the Asun A1 is a killer gimbal. So last month I did a video, I tested three gimbals against each other and all of them had their issues. And just in comparison, using this gimbal in the same type of setting, I got none of the issues I had with those three gimbals. So let's get a little of applause because it's a nice and smooth gimbal. It's nice, it's great, it's some awesome footage. So let's talk about the details about this gimbal and more than just about how smooth it is. Okay, so the basic package comes with the gimbal, you get your batteries. One of the big things that I really like about this is it, it comes with a tripod mount that you can mount on most Manfrotto tripods. So if you're switching between, say, your tripod and your gimbal, you're not gonna have to take it off or you're not gonna have to add something to your gimbal to make it work. The same mount will work for everything. And the plate itself is very nice in that it never, I've never had issues with the camera twisting off. With the Fiu Tech, I had issues with getting it tight enough that it would the camera wouldn't spin while it's on the gimbal and I've never had that issue with this one. Also on that tripod mount, you also get a lens holder. So if you have a heavier lens or you even want a little more protection from moving, you can use that lens mount. Another key thing that it comes with is the tripod on the bottom, which is so helpful when you're balancing. One thing about the Asun is that the whole thing seems very robust 
and it doesn't feel like you're gonna break any part of it. The tripod especially just feels super solid. So that's one thing, I travel a lot, I'm always throwing gimbals around, I don't usually bring the case, I just throw it in my bag. So I like the fact that it feels heavy, it feels a little bit more heavy duty than some of the other gimbals. I feel like I'm not gonna destroy it if I throw it in my backpack, and my backpack gets tossed when we're on a bus or something. In terms of balancing, it's super easy to balance. It's got labels on all the different areas where you can balance. So you can write down your settings for each lens on your sled, on each of the motors, and that way, you can just get it right to those settings and then check it. Maybe do a little tweak here and there, but for the most part, it should be balanced if you write the numbers down right. So having that is huge. You could see the numbers clearly. It's easy to go through and balance every time. So when you're switching lenses or you're switching cameras on the gimbal, you might wanna go between cameras. You're not gonna have an issue trying to find those spots or you're not gonna have to try and mark it on the actual gimbal itself. You can just write down the numbers in your phone. In terms of battery life, it lasts a long time. I have not run out of battery yet on it. I've used it all day, just shooting on and off with it. And I've never had issues with the batteries running out. So on the website, it says six to eight hours. I have not tested that fully, but I can say that it easily has gone through an entire day of me shooting off and on, and it's worked great. And one thing about this gimbal that really stands out compared to some of the others I've worked out recently is the app. So a lot of times, like I've said in the past, the app is a cool, unique thing that gives you more abilities with a gimbal, but unless the app connects and unless the app works, you end up not even using it. So for a while, I just played around with the gimbal as a gimbal. I wasn't trying to use the app because I just wanted to get a feeling for how this goes if I don't wanna have my phone around or I just wanna use the gimbal as is. Then I started getting into the app and I was super surprised at how quickly the app functioned. One of the things that I've had issues with in the past is connectivity. So I would turn on the app, I would turn on the gimbal and things just wouldn't connect. With this one, I turn on the gimbal, I turn on the app, I hit the button and within a few seconds, it's connected and it doesn't drop at all. So that's huge. That makes it so that you can actually use the app and it makes it that you want to use the app. So the features in your app that you get are really useful. You obviously have time lapse. So you can do, you can pick your spots beginning to end and do a motion time lapse. You can also do live action motion. So you can pick multiple spots. And that's one thing with this gimbal that's really cool is in the app, you can pick a ton of different spots. You can have the camera shifting up, down, left, right, all this, and just keyframe it and set your time between each keyframe. And it's a pretty intuitive way to do it. And it's all done just in the app. And then you can hit start and go. So it's super intuitive. It's super useful. I can see myself using the tripod that they provided with the app and actually doing motion time lapses, which is something I don't really do with gimbals because the apps are always a pain to work with. But this one makes it super easy and it makes me want to actually use the functions like the time lapse and the real time motion. And another thing is all these apps always come with a joystick on your phone. So you can control the movements with your finger and it will move the gimbal. Well, one thing is that it's pretty responsive, so when you move it, it moves. There's not a huge lag time. So you can actually use it and do real-time movements, something that's pretty useful. Also in the app is your settings, so you can change how fast, how responsive it is. That's always good to use because depending on your situation, you might want it to respond faster. If you're in a fast-paced scenario and you want things to whip around, or if you're trying to get that buttery, silky smooth footage, you're gonna really pull it down and make it smooth, and then it will respond and, and take longer to do the different movements. So as a whole, if I was going to recommend a gimbal right now, I would recommend the Asun A1. This is one that I think has a lot of potential to get some really awesome footage, and everything just works as it should. Now I noticed there are some other gimbals coming out. DJI just came out with their version of this style of gimbal. It has a few extra features like the focus wheel and all that. However, it is more expensive than say the Asun. This is still under $500, so it's a good gimbal gimbal that's priced a little bit lower and you get a lot of the features that you would expect out of a more expensive gimbal. So definitely something to keep in mind if you want to keep your budget down, you just want a gimbal that works, this is a great one. If you're looking for added features, obviously the DJI has all these ways to expand it and do all this different stuff. It is price here and I haven't actually worked with it yet so I can't speak on the stability of that gimbal specifically, but I think that that is in a different class than this. There's a lot of gimbals out there that are like the Asun A1. And I think out of this style of gimbal, this class of gimbal, this is the best that I've worked with. And I definitely am gonna take this with me when I'm traveling for the next few months in Vietnam, in Cambodia, in Philippines. This is gonna always be in my backpack ready to go because I know I can pull it out, I can get smooth footage, and it's easy to calibrate depending on what lens I'm using. All right guys, that is it. I would love to know your thoughts on the footage that I showed you from the Asun A1. If you have any questions about this gimbal in particular, 
leave me a comment down below. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of awesome filmmaking tutorials. I've got some cool camera reviews. Like I said, I'm traveling. We're going to Vietnam next, probably Cambodia, maybe the Philippines, maybe Bali. There's a lot of stuff that we wanna do in the next few months. So guys, stay tuned. There is a lot coming on this channel. If you haven't already, head over to Instagram or Twitter. Come find me at Jevin Dovey. Shoot me a message. And guys, I will see you on the next one.